You may ask yourself why is LGBTQ so powerful recently? And almost every country wants to allow it in their country, despite the fact that some of the countries used to curse it. Now, do you know that the US economy adds an extra $9 billion a year if companies improve their ability to retain LGBT talent through the implementation of inclusive policies? Countries, where such policies do not exist, are missing out. The World Bank estimates India is losing $32 billion a year, in economic output precisely because of widespread discrimination against LGBTQ people. Even in Africa if I may use Kenya as an example, Kenya loses $1.3 billion a year to LGBTQ discrimination. The report by Open for Business, an alliance of big companies including tech companies Google and Microsoft, and Deutsche Bank, estimated anti-gay attitudes were shaving off up to 1.7% of Kenya's annual gross domestic product, GDP. On the other hand, companies openly championing LGBT rights are reaping the benefits. LGBT customers are among the most loyal, they reward companies who have got their back, even if this means spending more on their shopping baskets. A big basket, if you consider that in the US alone, the spending power of the LGBT community is calculated in the region of $800 billion a year. Speaking of companies, Uber has also taken a leading role by prohibiting its drivers globally from discriminating against LGBT passengers, even if state laws might allow it in the countries where they operate. In the wake of the Orlando shootings, the company offered free rides to a number of selected LGBT landmark locations around the world and free transport to the families of the victims. The LGBTQ plus community has had some reasons to celebrate in recent months, including the inauguration of President Joe Biden, who became the highest ranking government official to endorse marriage equality when he announced his support as vice president in 2012. Biden's actions suggest he remains committed to the community, and he recently recognized Pride Month in a presidential proclamation that referenced his support for the Equality Act, which would protect LGBTQ plus Americans from discrimination in many areas of life. Despite all that, in some countries, the LGBTQ plus community still faces many challenges, including their disproportionate likelihood to face violence, harassment, and abuse. Members of the LGBTQ plus community often face hate crimes. And sexual assault was one of the most commonly reported hate crimes by LGBTQ plus individuals, according to studies collected by the National Sexual Violence Resource Center. It is said that members of the LGBTQ plus community often face hate crimes. And sexual assault was one of the most commonly reported hate crimes by LGBTQ plus individuals, according to studies collected by the National Sexual Violence Resource Center. Anyway, from whatever I've told you now up to that point now you know why every president wants to allow LGBTQ rights in his or her country. Before continuing to educate you more about all this, kindly consider hitting that subscribe button. Now, do you know that the research says that in a group of 10 people, one or two of those members is actually LGBTQ member? Lately LGBTQ is so powerful in the world to the point that you can't even speak negatively about LGBTQ because they have rights that protect them. Actually, there are more people in Africa and other parts of the world who are LGBTQ but the problem is that they fear to say it. Reason being LGBT is at greater risk of violent victimization. I don't know if you know that speaking or posting anything on social media that is against LGBTQ is hate speech. And that may lead to your social media platform being deleted forever. Posting hate speech on Instagram, Facebook or even TikTok which recently added added the terms to their app will lead to your account being banned. Someone may ask me, are LGBTQ people overrepresented in media? If so, how could that be considered a bad thing? Okay yes definitely slightly overrepresented. Glad would want to make you believe LGBT are around 20% of the population, according to one study, but according to more recent studies, it's more like around 5%. But even that 5% is a lot of people out of 7.8 billion people. Now, TV shows producers nowadays don't want to be finger pointed by all those SJWs fanatics that have really loud voices, so they will find ways to include such minorities in their shows. I've already told you before that the company that promotes LGBTQ gains massively. Anyway, 
Every young person, regardless of their sexual orientation or gender identity, deserves equal access to opportunities and services and their safety should be protected. I don't know what you think about it. Give us your thoughts in the comment section. Thanks for watching and don't forget to give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button.